What's your minimum specification? In terms of uh, processor design, I mean, currently, you know, the 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 EDA tools, you know, there's some amount of automation in there and advances in AI and machine learning are being expanded into processor design. Do you ever envision envisit do you ever envision a time where an AI model can design a purposeful multi-million device chip that will be unfathomable to human engineers? Yeah. Well, so already the complexity of like, you know, high-end, you know, AMD, Intel, Apple chip is almost unfathomable to any one person. Hmm. Right. But, but if you actually go down into details today, you can mostly read the RTL or look at the cell libraries and say, I know what they do. Right. But if you go look inside a neural network, you know, that's been trained and say, why is this weight 0.0015843? Mm. You, nobody isn't, knows. Is, 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 isn't that more data than design, though? Well, here, here somebody told me this. So so scientists traditionally, they, they do a bunch of observations and they go, hey, when I drop a rock, it accelerates like this. And they calculate how fast accelerate and then they curve fit and they realize holy crap there's this equation right yeah so we can you know so physicists for years came up with all these equations and then when they got to you know relativity they had to bend space and quantum mechanics they had to introduce probability but still there's mostly understandable equations there's phenomena now where there's a phenomena that a machine learning thing can learn like predict you know Physics is, you know, some equation, put inputs, equation outputs, right? Mm -hmm. You know, input function output, right? But if there's a black box there where the, you know, the AI network says inputs, black box of AI outputs, and if you look in the box, you can't tell what it means. Like there's no equation, right? So now you could say, well, that's the design of the neurons is obvious. You know, the little processors, little four teraflop computers, mm. you know, but the design of the weights is not obvious, right? And that's where the thing is. Now, now, let's go use an AI computer to go build an AI calculator. What if you go look inside the AI calculator and you can't tell why it's getting... So now don't you understand the weights? You don't understand the math or the, mm. or the circuits underneath them. That's possible. Yeah. So now you have two levels of things you don't understand, but what are you designing? You might still be designing the human experience, right? Like yeah. computer designers used to design things with transistors and now we design things with high level languages. Mm. So so those AI things will be building blocks. But but it you is get... pretty weird that there's gonna be parts of science where the function is not intelligible. Like Stephen Wolfram said was something really interesting. Like he said, physics, physics, there was physics by explanation. That was Aristotle, you know, 1500 mm -hmm. years, right? They, he was wrong yeah. about a whole bunch of stuff. And then there was physics by equation, like Newton, mm -hmm. Copernicus, you know, people like that. And he says, you know, so Stephen Wolfram said, now there's going to be physics by, by program, right? There's very few programs that are, you can write in one equation. Yeah. Programs are complicated. And he says, why isn't physics like that? Well, pro, you know, in computing world, now we have programmed by AI, which has no intelligible equations in it or statements. So why isn't physics going to do the same thing? So, so it's, it's going to be those abstraction layers down to the transistor. Eventually, each of them will be replaced by AI some yeah, well, unintelligible could, black box could be AI. the thing that assembles the transistors makes things that we don't even understand as devices. Yeah. Like they, people have been staring at the brain for how many, they, they still can't tell you exactly why, you know, the brain does anything. 20 watts they, of they, fat and salt. Yeah. And they see chemicals go back and forth and electrical signals move around and, you know, they're, they're finding more stuff, but you know, it's, it's fairly sophisticated. <laughs>